we're very disappointed in the 1.3 trillion. Nobody more disappointed than me because the number is so large. It'll start coming down. We had no choice but to fund our military. I don't believe that. You had no choice. Of course you had a choice. Nobody's more disappointed than you. How about the American people? You got a billion dollars in a bank someplace. Yeah, well, sorry. Um, By the way, Mark Meadows, he's a representative from North Carolina. He's also the chairman of the Freedom Caucus. He said they never took an official position against the rule, but had it done so, maybe more GOP members would have defected. I mean, the Republican Party's already uh, fragmenting itself just like the Democrats did. All right, here's a list of GOP members that stood up for limited government conservatism. You ready? Justin Amish out of Michigan. Andy Biggs out of Arizona. Rod Bloom, Iowa. Mo Brooks, Alabama. Warren Davidson, Ohio. John Duncan, Tennessee. Tom Garrett, Virginia. Louis Gohmert, Texas. Thank you. Paul uh, Gosser, Arizona. Morgan Griffith, Virginia. Andy Harris, Maryland. Jody Hicka, Georgia. Jim Jordan, Ohio. Raul Labrador, Idaho, Thomas Massey, Kentucky, Alex Mooney, West Virginia, Ralph Norman, South Carolina, Steve Pierce, New Mexico, Scott Perry, Pennsylvania, Bill Posey, Florida, Mark Sanford, South Carolina, Randy Weber, Texas, thank you, Daniel Webster, Florida, and Ted Yoho out of Florida. Everybody else? Nah, sign it. We don't have to pay it. They do. Uh, all right, let's go to, uh, Susan and Waxahachie. Susan, thanks for waiting. How you doing, Susan? I'm doing okay. Thanks for taking my call. You bet. Um, I, I, I think we're losing our faith just a little too soon here. Um, Donald Trump is, he could have vetoed the bill. You're right. He could have, but where would that have gotten us? A new president, a new day. Congress are just going to keep on with that. He always goes for permanent solutions like the wall. I think what have we learned from this? We've learned that our federal government is just way too big and we're involved in way too many things that should be up to the states if the government ought to be involved in it at all. I mean, why? can you tell me why uh, we fund Planned Parenthood, the federal government? What is that? What because is because business? they're the Democrats are swinging a bigger stick. Why are we uh, putting millions into breastfeeding grants? I don't even know what that is. No, why 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 can they take my money and do that if it needs to be done by the because government it the should pre- be done by the state. The president should have vetoed it. But that's not going to be a permanent solution. But I it's it, it's it's at least buying more time to flip more seats. I mean, you just don't I mean, telling me you know, try, let's be honest. Well, we had to have that so we could rebuild the military. I mean, that's a scare tactic that our military is, you know, defunct and it's uh, been degraded so that it's not uh, operable. That's not true. And you can also fund the military other ways. You didn't have to do this. But. He, uh, Look, he Susan, to, Susan to, here's the thing. I know where you are. I was there earlier. You don't want to throw cold water on this president that beat Hillary Clinton, that was, forgive me, the new white hope uh, for America, that somehow, someway was going to find a way to turn this around. Uh, I get that. I understand that fully. And look, I still support Trump over Hillary. uh, But at the same time, when our own people, when I say people, I'm talking about uh, politicians, when our own party screws up, we've got to be the first ones to say, wait a minute, stop. You know, we can't keep defending something that's indefensible. But both the Republicans and the Democrats are screwed up. There's no difference between the two. In fact, one thing Trump has shown me is that this is no longer a democracy. He was duly elected, and now we've got a Congress that can impeach him for nothing? That, and, and that it, is it, this Signing this bill signed the death warrant for Republicans in the midterms. I mean, forget the majority. I told you months and months ago. 
and it gives me no pleasure to say so. If the Republicans can find a way to screw it up and lose, they will. They did, and they will. Um, it's it, it, Democrats only have to flip, I think, 23 seats. Uh, the GOP's in, in danger of losing over 60 seats. It's done. And with the stroke of his pen, you know, I don't care what he talks about as far as military and breastfeeding. And I mean, we didn't even do anything for the wall. What was, was allocated for the so-called wall was to repair fences that we already have up. Now, which is not a permanent solution. Well, it's not even a solution. It's not a solution no. at all. No, but is there, do you think there is a way 